Well, I think these two have been in their fixed position long enough. It's time to take these two out so they can run free. Very cool two-pack. The Flash in Batman Earth, negative 52. We got two nice pieces of artwork on each of these characters, each of these figures. I have not seen much on this one yet, but it is the one that I'm most excited about. And of course, the different figures that uh, are in the McFarlane line. So <clears throat> let's crack this thing open and take a closer look at the Flash in Batman Earth 52. Don't these two just look magnificent? I don't know why I haven't heard a whole lot about um, this Red Death figure, this Batman uh, Earth negative 52. I don't know if uh, most people are just not digging it or I just haven't seen or heard anything on it, but I absolutely love it. And I like this new head sculpt here that we get for the Flash. Let's check out some of the articulation with these two. Well, we'll start with the Flash first. This, I have to look at something here. This does seem to be the same body mold. And the reason I know that for sure is because it has the same um, little thing here in his hips. Where how this is kind of fl flushed up, flushed up, flushed up. <laughs> but you can see that this has um, kind of a gap in there and that's for having his leg back in kind of that more fixed position but that's okay because I that's the position that I would always have my flash and it might be an issue for somebody else but um, it's my review so that's my opinion on it. Uh, the only thing that we can really say about this figure that I haven't already said in my other Flash review is the head sculpt. And it's uh, very cool that we have uh, another head sculpt for the Flash. And this one looks a little a little grumpier, a little, uh, a little more serious, a little more into his running. The other one had that uh, nice little smirk but it has the uh, the same raised emblem on him and um, and the flash uh, trimmings on his costume on his on his outfit and all that but uh, I do I do like this new head sculpt I, I like the other head sculpt better because he just looks like a nicer guy <laughs> it's like he's in a better mood in the other head sculpt but it's very cool to have an extra um, an extra head sculpt and an extra flash to pose along with this guy. So, um, and this is the one that I'm most excited about. I just personally love this figure and now that I have him in my hand, um, he has a, a lot of different, um, or a couple different textures. Well, more than a couple. I guess what I mean is this, uh, the, the dollar color on him has not such a, a smooth surface. It's, it's more matte I guess feeling and then this brighter red on him is very very slick very um, slippery feeling and uh, that's okay it, it's kind of a little hard to to move him around a little bit with that but the more the more I uh, handle him the less um, kind of slippery he feels but uh, he's got that toe articulation and it's not set back too far this time uh, this one is back a fair amount but some of these McFarlane figures uh, I think they almost all of them have the toe articulation and they're usually set back maybe a little too far but this one seems to be okay I uh, seems to be a little reminiscent of the uh, red hood one but with the red hood the only difference is uh, you couldn't really tell on his because of the um, design of the boot it just kind of fades in there but anyway um, let's see whoa boy that just fell off out of nowhere are we gonna have another uh, 
death stroke situation. I was moving him around quite a bit and seeing where his hips and his legs, the, the limitations of the, um, the articulation here just a few minutes ago, so it probably loosened up pretty good. But uh, it looks like his ankle rocker, yeah, you can get his his feet. Here, let's take a let's take a closer look at this. Now this is this is very very nice. Look at that. That is uh, that is very cool. Anytime you can open the hips up like that and start to go into a split position and get the uh, the feet flat. That's really what you're looking for. That scores a lot of points with Joe's Multiverse here. So that's very cool. No thigh cut or anything like that, which is a little unfortunate with a speedster type figure. But um, it's got the rocker. It's got the uh, it's got the pivot. It's got the uh, the ball joint. But it does look like it's it's hidden pretty good. So it's not like this. Um, the ball joint isn't like bulging out and it's really apparent so that's a plus and you got the double jointed knees and uh, they do go back where he's kicking his own butt pretty good there and the knees on here i really like i, I just love the uh the texture and, and the depth and everything and the look of that when he's standing there i'm just really excited to get him uh posed up there and displayed with the other with the other Batmans that have combined with uh, other characters. And that's just very cool. Just really getting a lot of Batman characters, a lot of Batman figures from McFarlane. I wonder if he'll ever kind of start doing that with, uh, with Superman. I don't believe that there's as many different versions of Superman, but Geez, he's on the on his way to start making stuff up in his own original design. So who knows what we'll get in the future? I just personally hope that he keeps that um, whatever contract he has with uh, with DC or wh whomever to keep making these because I I absolutely love him. I just hope the articulation gets just a just a tad bit better. But he's got some ab crunch uh, that's spinning all the way around. I would think that his, yeah, yep, yeah, his waist does go, does go all the way around. I'm not going to go all the all the way around, but um, his ab crunch, it, it's not that far forward at all, but he does go back, and uh, I suppose if you wanted, depending on how you would uh, position him, you got, you got that to work with. And there's a little bit of side to side in there, so that's very good. His arms, shoulders go all the way around, and they both go up. Let's see. As soon as I start twisting these guys around, I get them all screwed up. But they go up as far as they really need to. Got the double jointed elbows, and the wrists go around. Got some good articulations in the wrist for the hands and all that. And then I uh, just love these these shoulders and all this here. These glorious gauntlet looking things of his. Those are very cool. It's almost like uh, uh, Dram Stroker's uh, Dracula with, uh, with all these, like that red outfit that he had, if you remember that. This very cool uh, bat symbol right there that split. I don't know the exact storyline behind this. Um, I will be looking it up, but uh, it looks very, very cool. Got that mouthpiece that's covering it all the way. Uh, kind of like the um, that uh, other figure that I was never interested in. It's the one where he's kind of combined with Cyborg, but um, I actually just watched a review on that last night, and now I'm kind of looking forward, uh, looking for it. It looks like he got a little mark on the back of his head. His, his, well, let's see. Um, his head, if you stand him like so, his head doesn't go back that far. If he's looking straight ahead, um, that's where he'd be positioned and his, his, his head only goes back that far. But um, he does look forward a fair, fair amount. 
looks like that shoulder piece in there is floating around a little bit, but um, <clears throat> head does tilt side to side. Not bad at all. So all in all, not a bad figure at all. I, I really, really like this guy and uh, he'll definitely be part of my room tour um, being uh, posed up there and displayed um, just beautifully with the other with the other figures and my reviews uh, are not as bright usually as others um, it's just kind of my style so I haven't heard anything from any viewers or anything that uh, that they're having a hard time seeing them but um, it's just kind of become my style and and I, I, I like the, the look of it and the, and the lighting that I use and I think that it, it, it resembles a little more on how he's going to look on the on the shelf so but let me know if it's not working for you and uh, I'm not opposed to changing things a little bit but um, he is uh, he is a very very cool looking figure this right now is uh, definitely one of my favorite McFarlane DC multiverse figures and uh, I'd love to know what everybody else might think about this guy and uh, think about this two-pack in general if anybody else um, has it and uh, how easily it was to obtain it so let me know I really love the comments I'm having a, a ball with uh, replying to those reading those and I'm sure it's going to be harder and harder as the uh, channel grows. I'm sure we're going to get to um, at least 100,000 by the end of, of the uh, month with subscribers. So it's going to be very difficult to reply to every comment. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. But uh, keep the comments going. I'd I, I love to hear what everybody thinks. And so let me know um, your uh, comments, concerns, opinions, and all that. On, uh, on this two-pack, especially this guy here. All right, well, until the next time we review a couple of lightning fast figures, or any McFarlane figures for that matter, and enter the multiverse, I'll see you later.